Solid. Well, good morning. Um, my new book. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird. I I have so many books about the Bible. Each book brings back a different point of view. And it puts me in the mind of something that someone once told me. Uh, it was Mr. Bird, uh, Karen's place, uh, Karen's dad, Raymond Bird's. He once told me, he said, you know what, Minerva, he says, reading the Bible is one thing. Knowing God's word is another. He said, being a book smart, not always your best idea. But being smart about Jesus is. And if you knew anything about Mr. Bird, he was not a Jesus fan. Like he knew his word. He knew all the things he needed to know. He had the love of God. He had it all. But the way that he taught me was basically he told me that if a preacher cannot stand in the anointing of Jesus, without his Bible in his hand, and preach the Word of God. I might not want to follow him. I said, why? He said, because when you study for a test, and you work so hard to pass that test, do you need the book to look at it? To find out what you're saying is right? Wouldn't you think the Holy Spirit would have you covered and anointed in the power of Jesus? Don't you think you would have said the right thing? Have you ever caught yourself talking? You'd be telling the story from a book, but you have to pick the book up to make sure you say it just the way the book says. Well, if you ever read the Bible, it does a whole lot of stories a whole lot of roundabout circling around but it all says the same thing it gives you full awareness that jesus was here on this earth and he made us because he wanted to he made the world in seven days you know the big high points of the bible the things that stands out Throughout the time that I've read, and I've not read all the Bible. I've only read two or three chapters. But from Genesis to Revelation, God continues to tell us that he is God. That he is the apple, the omega, the Yahweh, the beginning and the end. There's no other God before him or after that God, Jesus, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is all one thing. It's just different branches. You know, God anoints each person in a way that will open the people's eyes to hear what they got to say. If you ever get cold chills from something I said, it's probably because God was anointing me at that. And trust and believe me, I am not a smart cookie. I'm not dumb, neither. I got enough common sense that keeps me alive. So when God anoints me into saying something, or praying for someone, or giving me the ability to do anything, you can feel it. Holy Spirit is like rushing over my body. Can you feel it? That sudden release of everything. All your hurt, heartbroken, pain, everything. It's just pouring off. 
It's like you're coming out of a canoe. And you realize that the water had just literally rushed down your body. That's God washing away your sins. That's the Holy Spirit coming in to you. When you can feel it, you don't need a book to tell you. May God bless you.